In the next couple of videos, we're going to look at how to build a simple car in Roblox with joints. These videos are going to require a bit of scripting later, so we recommend watching our intro to scripting series if you're new to scripts or need a refresher. Now to start off, let's take a look at the model I'm going to be rigging up. The rear wheels will be connected directly to the body of the car, and they're going to be what provide power to drive it. Now up front, we have an axle which is going to rotate, it's going to provide the steering, and the two front wheels can spin as they need to on this axle. And last, we have a vehicle seat, which is going to be listening for input from the player. Let's start rigging the back wheels. I'm going to use the move tool to move them away from the body so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Then I'm going to go over to the model tab, and click on the create drop down and select hinge. And when placing these hinges, I'm going to make sure that I'm clicking on the body of the car first for the first attachments. Now this is because the first part that you click will hold the attachment, but it's also going to hold the constraint instance. I want both of these hinges in the same place for when I script later. Now speaking of, let's take this opportunity to name these hinge constraints. You can see them right here as children of the body of the car. Now I'm going to name this one right drive and the other left drive. Now let's select them both and select both their actuator types to motor so they can spin at a constant rate. And now let's set their torque and for a vehicle this size about 10,000 should be fine but you're probably going to need to tune this number depending on the size and mass of your vehicle. And now let's set up the front axle. The front wheels can just use regular hinges. They don't need to be powered. So let's just move them both a bit away from the body and then add a hinge to both. And now let's create a hinge between the front axle and the support. Now this hinge will turn the entire front axle to steer the car. In this case, we want to change the actuation to servo not motor, because when we steer, we want this to turn to a set point and not just spin continuously. And we'll set the angular speed to something fairly high, like six, so that it changes direction quickly. And we'll also set the torque fairly high, again, maybe around like 10,000. And while the wheels and the axle aren't very large or heavy, this type of steering does cause a lot of friction. We have to overcome that, so we need a good bit of torque to get it to move. And last, I'm going to name this one Steer Hinge so that I can reference it later in a script. And there we go. Once we move everything back into a place, we have a fully rigged car. But it's not going to move yet because we need to hook up our vehicle seat to these hinges. So stay tuned for the next video where we're going to do exactly that.